Hello, I'm Taylor, one of the Aerogen clinical educators. This video will demonstrate the proper setup and use of the Aerogen High Performance Aerosol Drug Delivery System with mechanical ventilation. This is the Aerogen Solo, a single patient use vibrating mesh drug delivery technology. The Aerogen Solo delivers high performance aerosol to every patient in every setting. Aerogen's patented vibrating mesh technology turns liquid medication into a fine particle mist. Aerogen high performance aerosol results in greater drug delivery for patients on mechanical ventilation. Aerogen Solo sits above a closed circuit, reducing the renebulization of condensate, potentially reducing the risk of contamination to the patient. The Aerogen Solo can be used for up to 28 days of intermittent use or seven days of continuous use. Let's begin. If Aerogen technology is integrated into your ventilator, you will just need to gather the Aerogen Solo and the Aerogen Adult T-Piece. If Aerogen is not integrated into your ventilator, you will also need to gather the Aerogen Pro-X controller, the AC-DC power cable, and the controller cable. The Pro-X controller or integrated Aerogen power source powers your aerosol drug delivery. First, check to ensure the Aerogen controller is plugged in. The battery status indicator light shows that the unit is receiving power. The green light means the battery is fully charged with a 45 minute battery life. The amber light means that the battery is charging. We recommend that the Pro-X controller always be plugged in to ensure it is charged. This is the Aerogen controller cable. Plug the Aerogen controller cable into the base of the Pro-X controller. Firmly attach the other end to the Aerogen Solo. Open the plug on the Aerogen Solo. Using a pre-filled ampule or syringe, add medication to the Solo. Close the plug. Press the on-off button on the Aerogen controller for one second to select 30 minute mode. The Aerogen Solo is now in operation. You can see the aerosol being produced. For continuous nebulization from the off position, press and hold the on off button for three seconds. The controller must be connected to ACDC power in order to perform in continuous mode. Note lockable mounting brackets are available from your distributor. To use Aerogen in mechanical ventilation, place the Aerogen Solo firmly into the T-piece. Insert the Aerogen Solo and the T-piece onto the dry side of the humidifier for optimal use of the Aerogen Solo, please ensure it is in the optimal orientation at all times. Insert the medication into the Aerogen Solo. Turn on the Aerogen controller. Visually check that aerosol is being produced. This is the recommended placement for optimum aerosol deposition. If using Aerogen with a heat moisture exchanger, the Aerogen Solo should be placed in between the HME and the endotracheal tube. Only an HME approved for use with a nebulizer should be used in this configuration. For patients who are extubated from mechanical ventilation, please see the Aerogen Ultra training video. If you have any additional questions, please contact your Aerogen CCS or clinical educator following this training.